Patience prevails on the Korean peninsula, for now, even though the last few days had plenty of potential for tensions after North Korea fired a series of projectiles last weekend. But where does that leave denuclearization dialogue? I'm Alex Jensen for North Korea Now. Chairman Kim Jong-un oversaw last Saturday's strike drill involving multiple rocket launchers and what the North called tactical guided weapons. The obvious interpretation pointed to attempted pressure on the United States to be more flexible on a denuclearization deal and on South Korea to do more to convince the US of the need for a gradual process rather than an all or nothing agreement. However, both sides have responded in their own calm, calculated ways, being very careful not to use inflammatory language and remaining committed to dialogue with the North. US President Donald Trump had at first been furious last weekend, according to reports, but then tweeted with confidence that he believes Chairman Kim will keep his promise to denuclearize. And Seoul's presidential office also seemed to play down what otherwise might have harmed last year's inter-Korean military agreement, convening a meeting of ministers rather than an emergency security briefing, and amending its initial announcement that it had detected short-range missiles so that the word projectiles was used instead. And then on Tuesday night, South Korean President Moon Jae-in spoke with his American counterpart for more than half an hour. They addressed those projectiles and ways to keep North Korea dialogue on track, according to Seoul's presidential office. Apparently, they agreed their response to the North's firing was appropriate and very effective. Trump also, by the way, assessed that South Korea's provision of food to North Korea in a humanitarian move will be very timely and a positive step. Yet, it remains to be seen whether that will be enough to please Pyongyang whose own footage from last Saturday hinted at a North Korean version of Russia's Iskander, a short-range ballistic missile that could do serious damage to South Korea and would run foul of UN Security Council prohibitions against the North's development of ballistic missile technology. Satellite imagery also showed what might have been a solid fuel ballistic missile trail. Although none of that's been acknowledged officially by Seoul and Washington, President Moon has invested the first two years of his five-year administration in peace and is very unlikely to give that up in a hurry. He has made clear he wants more dialogue. It's not like Seoul has just dismissed North Korea's threat either. We are deeply concerned about North Korea's launch of multiple projectiles, which violates the spirit of the inter-Korean military agreement. Defense Ministry spokesperson Che Hyun Soo said when asked if Seoul regards the firings as provocations. We urge North Korea to halt acts that escalate military tensions on the Korean peninsula, she added. As for the US, you could say it's not threatened by only a short-range launch anyway. But remember, President Trump has also claimed a victorious North Korea policy on the basis that the North hasn't launched missiles since 2017. Acknowledging otherwise now would welcome further pressure on his administration. So even if negotiations are tricky, he's not expected to kill the dialogue process either. And North Korea wants sanctions relief so naturally would be open to further talks too. The problem is there still seems to be this huge gap between Washington and its pressure through sanctions and Pyongyang through its possible provocations and also outside pressure, dialogue with the likes of Russia and China. It's clearly a delicate situation, as the North's media has been repeatedly emphasizing the importance of self-reliance the ruling party's Nodong Shinman newspaper this week characterized the struggle as a great battle firmly based on the power of science and technology. That could refer to its nuclear arsenal, or it could be possible in a sanctions-free future. Conflict or dialogue, both options remain up in the air, even after last Saturday's projectiles splashed down. <laughs>